Okay, it, I'm sorry about the oblique angle, and trust me, there's a lot of uh, thoughts in the back of my head as saying this is not a good idea. I've extended my cheap tripod, and I'm using a very, well, I consider a, a quite a good quality, fairly expensive camcorder, digital camcorder, and so I've got to be careful. That being said, here we go. So yeah, I'm starting to, you know, I'm still going back and forth with, um, I will say this uh, about uh, the Sun Tzu stuff. I don't think um, uh, reading uh, the stuff about Sun Tzu has got a hell of a lot to do with uh, this scale. Um, I think it's got a lot more to do with, uh, for me anyways, tactical, maybe operational, but um, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way I, I, I see things. I'd love to talk about that at some point. Okay, so I'm doing the central powers, um, and this is a go now. As in, um, I'm starting to realize just, for, you know, from my exploration of like how long it takes to plan some big stuff. And remember, I'm doing this, I don't even know how I'm going to do the battles yet or whatever. This is still uh, ways away, and like I said, you probably not going to see a ton of stuff, but there's not much I can do. I don't want to um, uh, grab the camcorder. Um, uh, I'm just too jerky, so that's just the way it is. So I think uh, if you remember, I took a look at the um, Dervelkrieg army lists for, uh, I think it's something like, uh, would have been for the Battle of Neuve Chapelle or something like that. Um, or the Second Battle of Artois or whatever it is uh, for 19... Oh gosh, it's so weird to be jumping back and forth because we're in 1916 in, in live stream land and, and in my world we're about to pop into 19, 1915. So I'm using the army, uh, the strength point totals that were representative in that uh, scenario in Der Velkrieg in the Western Front. And I divided them up uh, and then identified, uh, so you can see here, uh, the pinky, the uh, dudes, the fuchsia guys, are um, uh, the Germans, the yellow here are um, the Brits. Uh, this kind of orange guy is the one uh, Belgian guy in all the blue are the French. And then I divided up each sector uh, roughly and then tried to divide up the uh, um, strength points. Uh, and the Germans to get um, equal strength points in each sector is 94. Look, this is just all whatever. So, in my world, uh, the Germany Central Powers have decided that uh, the main aim is going to be to take all of Belgium um, and isolate Great Britain as much as possible or to restrict their ability to bring in troops to help out the French as much as, much as possible or supply. Um, in other words, to increase somehow uh, the movement factor. That's basically it. Um, so uh, I took a look and I'm looking around going, where do I want to nail? Uh, and I'm still in that philosophy of the diversionary tactic or the diversionary attack. So there's going to be the main focus and then the diversionary focus. This is the diversion. I don't really, really care. I know it's just the way the world works of being uh, callous. Why am I going for this spot? Well, because uh, I've got a lot of uh, conduits to bring in supply and uh, armament. I've got double rail like there's no flipping tomorrow. And if I take this spot, it's an iron producing uh, area. And uh, I also have single track here and I can slowly start pushing and maybe isolate this spot. You get the idea? I would like to nail this spot first, or, or this spot, but I just thought, you know what, I've got, um, hmm, maybe, no, we're still going to go here. I'm going to go that, because, so anyways, what I did, and then here's my main attack. I want to wheel around, I want to, uh, so, but yet again, I'm looking at it from, remember, it's an abstraction uh, combat uh, way of looking at it. I'm looking at where are the spots that I would like to nail or get. And here's a nice, beautiful little spot. I've got a nice little junction of a double rail to a single rail. And there's some agricultural uh, producing area there. It's 20 kilometers north of Albert. So I can go and take a look at, at uh, parts of France and see exactly what is there. And so I can call it the Battle of Lord Knows What's that's going to uh, 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 appear. 
So I took 20 strength uh, points of, or theoretically, we still have to move them around. And uh, on the other side, obviously, is probably going to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm going to move 20 strength points from here over to here. I'm leaving this one here uh, normal, uh, as in I haven't taken anybody from sector D, due to the fact that if something does go pear-shaped, at least I can, I've got it pretty darn quick to bring them over to sector uh, E, I would hope. Sometimes it's weird, eh? You may think it, you're close, but if you if I don't have the rail, well, <laughs> it, it could be could be like from here to the moon, basically. Uh, I also left uh, sector C uh, the same because obviously that's the diversionary attack, and they're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm not even looking at reinforcements, not even looking at any of that nonsense anymore. I then took uh, ten strength point, uh, points away from sector B and pl put them towards sector A as well. Uh, and we'll just go from there. Uh, that's it. Uh, like I said, I'm still off into Wonderland trying to figure out about strategic bombing. That's another, that's a whole other world uh, there. Uh, the only other thing that I'm starting to, but that's on a, uh, on a another level, be, uh, is uh, considering um, uh, essentially just occupying Netherlands. Uh, a la the way the French are doing with uh, parts of Greece in 1916 or late 1915, 1916 and, and the Brits are, you know, oh, look what they're doing with Salonika. So I'm thinking, well, you know, maybe we can do that well uh, with Netherlands. I'll be honest with you, I'd really like to get Denmark. Uh, they've got some ports from hell. Uh, and Well, obviously Sweden too, uh, due to the fact that they're, it's kind of like the hoodwinking little... Um, place that's going on with uh, uh, trade. I can tell you that much. There's a lot of... Um, um, if, okay. If I if you want to send me back and I want to make a ton of money, or, or I could also get killed pretty quick, because I'm sure there's probably a lot of uh, gray, black market type stuff going on. Send me to Sweden. Holy Christ, you'd make a, uh, make a mint uh, um, as far as I'm concerned. Holy jeepers jumping. Oh yeah. That's where the money's at. United States and Sweden. So if you're a, if you got double uh, double nationality there, holy jeepers, you're pretty darn good as far as I'm concerned. All right, hope you're having a good one.